Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at uh, ways in which we could create new HTML elements using JavaScript and HTML DOM. Now let's first create inside our body tag a simple div and then let's give it an ID of, I don't know, uh, text or something. And uh, let's wrap it and inside that let's add b tag and say this text is inside the div or something like that and like so and above that or below that it doesn't really matter let's create another b tag saying this test is outside is it outside of the outside of the div inside of the div outside the div outside the div doesn't really matter like so and uh, inside our head tag actually we are going to create a style tag hopefully you've seen my CSS videos and know, know all about the style tags and uh, let's create a div no it's, it's a text and inside that uh, let's just change the color of the font to green or something like so so uh, the p tag inside the div has a color of green and the p tag outside the text has a color of black default one and what we're going to do is create another p tag using javascript and put it inside our div with an id of text one so let's do that now we are going to create a variable variable called a uh, paragraph Okay, var paragraph equals because we are going to create a p tag, although the variable name could be anything. Let's say document dot create uh, element, and inside this uh, brackets we are going to add a double quotes, and inside that we are going to create we are going to add the tag name. So in this case, it's p. If you want to create a new h1, we write h1, and so on. And then let's create another variable called var text equals, and we are going to be adding some text inside our p tag. So we need to create that. So we're going to create a document dot create text node, and inside our brackets, inside the double quotes, we are going to write text. This is a new text, like so. And then uh, I hope you remember the in my first introduction to HTML DOM video, I showed you that tree diagram thing where the, we have an element and then we have a text inside. What we're going to do is stick this uh, text variable, which have the new uh, created text node, this is a new text, into this p tag. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to amend the text node to this p tag. So let's say a uh, paragraph I could give it a space paragraph which is the name of the variable dot and we say uh, append child so we are going to give it a child of uh, text and that text is the variable name over here and we need to make sure that we are going we wrap it around with a brackets and there we go after that, we are going to put this uh, paragraph variable, which is this p tag, inside our div. Okay, so uh, below that, we are going to say var, uh, I don't know, let's say element, because we are all together going to be creating a new element, equals, and we are going to get the ID of this by using the document dot uh, get element by ID and inside that let's say text and after that just like we uh, amended the text into our paragraph we are going to amend our paragraph into our element which in this case is the ID text so the div tag okay so let's say element dot append child paragraph and you'll see why I uh, took my time to create two paragraphs one inside the div one outside the div and change the text of or change the color of the div 
thing to green so that once I refresh and if everything worked because this new text inside the p tag is inside the div it's going to be color green like so. So this is how you add a new element into HTML using JavaScript. You create an element and inside here we write a tag name and then we create a text node so we, we add what you want inside or in between the tag and we are going to append the text into the paragraph or it depends on the name of your variable if it was a and b it's going to be a dot append child b and then we are going to uh, create a variable and we are going to find or get the element id which is the div tag because we want to put our p tag inside this or in between the div and we are going to append again the paragraph into the element and there we have it so that was a quick video uh, showing you how to do all that in my next video we are going to be looking at how to uh, delete or remove elements from our HTML document using JavaScript so the complete opposite to what we did just now so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later